Man, that's narcissism. Narcissism. People high in narcissism are self-centered, vain, and have an inflated sense of their qualities and achievements. They see themselves as perfect. Any flaws they may have, they refuse to see in themselves and instead project onto those around them. For example, a narcissist who secretly worries that she isn't smart enough will accuse those around her of being dumb as a way to boost her own ego. Um, probably not a lot of explanation necessary here. We get the sense of what a narcissist is. A narcissist is somebody who is completely self-centered and thinks that they're the best, and that they're the greatest. Um, so, you know, probably not a lot of explanation that's necessary there. So we're looking at those at those three things. We've got Machiavellianism, the sense of, of, of seeking power to be in charge, uh, lack of conscience or empathy, and narcissism. There's a group of people who I, I'm, I'm positive all of you interact with almost routinely that fit these categories, and that's little kids, small children. You, know, you have like a, a one, a two-year-old, a one-year-old. Uh, your your one-year-old, your two-year-old wants to be in charge. You know, they have a will. They want to do things their way. Um, you know, if you, I don't know if you ever like tried to help a two-year-old with something and they get angry because they don't want you to help them, they want to do it themselves. There's expression of will there. Um, there's also a, a, a sense they're going to be in charge and do their own thing of autonomy, whatever. Um, they don't have a lot of conscience. They don't have a lot of empathy. You know, when they're hungry, they're hungry. When they're tired, they're tired. And they expect everybody to drop around them because they just don't see other people the same way they see themselves. They haven't developed the ability to do that yet. And then, of course, uh, narcissism. You know, wanting the center of attention for, for everything. Um, in fact, the next article that we're going to look at refers to, how, again, how to communicate with psychopaths. And the, the subtitle there is something to the effect of um, interacting with, with emotionally stunted adults. And that's essentially what you find. Psychopaths, a decent way of thinking about them is that they're still emotional little kids that are in adult bodies. You know, not emotional little kids in the sense that they're immature, you know, you know in, in the kind of ways that we typically think about it, but that they essentially imitate the... the Character traits, let's say, of a, or worldviews of little kids as adults. And so, um, if you think of it that way, then you think about interacting with little kids that way. You know, maybe keep things in perspective. <laughs> Any of you guys like babysit little kids? What do you think they would do to you if they were like your size or like, twice your size? Yeah, yeah. The babysitter would die every time, man. So it's a good thing that they're small. <laughs> they don't have the ability to kill us just yet. And by the time they, they, they do get to be that size, most of them have outgrown it. So, questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms. Okay. So then you have the article. You've got the stuff to do. Um, I'll put the quizzes out today. If you want to take a look at them today or do them today, it's entirely up to you. But if you have any questions about it, let me know. Otherwise, off you go.